back to you again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video. Let's go ahead and get a cold start and get straight into this banger. So as y'all can tell, we are in the car right now. Your boy is on the way to the J, bruh. But as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, your boy is torn yet again. <laughs> I, I don't be knowing, man. Like sometimes it's like I know exactly what I want to do to a build. And so I execute that plan, complete the build, then I sell the car. But with this car, it's different. Like, I don't want to sell this car. You know what I'm saying? The 1LE is here to stay. It's going to start the collection for sure. But that being said, you know, you definitely got to switch things up to stay entertained. You know, to stay engaged. To stay, to stay excited. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, basically, as y'all may or may not know, if you've been in the loop with all the vlogs, then you would know. Uh, your boy did take the side skirts off of the car to go ahead and try to bring them joints back to life. You know what I'm saying? The clear coat on the side skirts ended up basically just leaving the chat. You know what I'm saying? And my side skirts kind of look like they got eczema. But I did go ahead and put the side skirts back on the car. And that's solely because of the fact that after I swapped the 1LE OEM front splitter for the carbon fiber variant, I can't hold y'all, bro. It just looked way too aggressive in the front and in the back. And then the sides just looked way too plain Jane. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't even, it didn't even up. And I just simply didn't like it, bro. So I went ahead and I put the side skirts back on. Now, did I re-clear the side skirts, you may ask? No, I did not. <laughs> I know the last time we talked about this topic, I told you guys that I was going to just sand them down and then re-clear them and call it a day. But then I was really thinking about it, bro. And it's like my passenger side skirt is literally cracked and, and, and broken and, and flaking all oh, type of stuff solely because the dude who fixes bent and cracked wheels at Chevy did not jack my car up how I told him to jack the car up and he ended up cracking the hell out of the side skirt on the passenger side I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about you can see that I'm not being overly dramatic or BSing it is legit bro definitely did destroy my side skirt And so that being said, even if I sand that down and then spray a new clear coat on it, bro, it's it's never going to be the same. Because at the end of the day, once carbon fiber cracks, there's no going back, bro. Like, it is what it is. If it's cracked, it's over with. So that brings me to today's topic. I'm kind of torn. I have the side skirts on the car right now. Um, besides the fact that the clear coat is completely gone, they look great, right? It flows really well with the front splitter. It looks really good. However, part of me wants to switch it up. I cannot lie to y'all. There is another set of carbon fiber side skirts that I actually have had my eyes on for a little minute. And I'm very intrigued to see how the car would look with those side skirts. However, the reason why I'm torn is simply because I don't know if I'm actually going to enjoy the look or not. 
I'm just keeping it a buck. I really don't know if I'm gonna enjoy how the side skirts look solely because of the amount of the side skirt. Like the ZL1 style side skirts stick out a good amount. So you got a good amount of carbon going down the side of the car. However, this company's side skirt, this style side skirt, to me personally, is more like how do I how do I put this? It's more like entry level carbon fiber, if that makes any sense. Like, you know, the ZL1 style side skirt is a very big side skirt at the end of the day it's a whole bunch of carbon fiber you know what i'm saying um but this these side skirts as you guys can see on the screen are a little bit thinner they don't have that like winglet at the very end of them by the quarter panel so it's like just a strip of carbon versus like an actual piece of carbon if that makes sense so it's like, I personally don't know if I want to do it or not. Hey, look, a Camaro, brother. Shout out to the 5th Gen gang. Got the wheels on there, okay? Anyway, um, bro, I had paper tax too. He just got it. Congrats, bro. Welcome to the game. But nah, um, so yeah, man, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm torn, bro. I don't know if I should just go ahead and get another set of ZL1 style side skirts and then make these side skirts be like my project on basically practicing how to re-clear them because I know that, you know what I'm saying, the new set is gonna get sun fade regardless, you know what I mean? So it's like, do I just buy another set and then basically refinish this set, bring it back to life? Or do I buy a new set that's a different style, keep these joints, and again, use them as test dummies, see how the clear coat lays. If it doesn't lay how I want it, the next thing that I would, I'm planning on doing is just painting them gloss black and then having them fade to carbon fiber on that winglet. I feel like that would be hard. You know what I'm saying? Because then that way I can cover up the cracked carbon fiber um, and then I'll still be able to just, I'll just have to refinish like half of the side skirt, which is less work on my end. And then it's also, it'll make the car even more unique because who has painted carbon fiber side skirts? Yet alone, who has painted side skirts that fade into carbon fiber? You know what I'm saying? So what are we doing? I, I, I could have sworn this was the fast lane. I think I don't understand. What are we what are we doing? What are we doing? Like bro, if you wanna drive slow, by all means, get to the right. Like what? Anyway, but yeah y'all, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below because I personally feel like the black fade to carbon would be hard as hell. I can't hold you. I really feel like that's gonna be lit. However, it's all about the execution. The execution has to be damn near perfect for it to actually work. Because if it ain't, then we're fried. I feel like he was stepping on his brakes because 12 is sitting on the side. 12 stays sitting on the side trying to catch your boy slipping, man. I can't hold you. I used to tear this road up. So I guess word got out to the constables and the sheriffs. So now they be sitting on the side waiting for the kid, hoping I fly by him. But I be watching, I be watching, you know what I'm saying? I be watching, I ain't got no radar. I be watching though. But anyway, yeah, man, I don't know. I feel like the black fade to carbon is definitely gonna be lit. Um, and then that would also enable me to be able to take off whatever side skirts I got, whatever new set of side skirts I got, and get, get a PPF layer put on them just to protect that clear coat so I don't have that sun drying or whatever it's called, you know what I'm saying? Basically, so the clear coat doesn't get ruined on the new set. Um, I know PPF definitely does help with longevity of carbon fiber, so I definitely wanna do it to the hood, the trunk, the front splitter, the side skirts, whichever ones I do end up going with. 
um, and just really just making sure that the car is protected at the end of the day, man, because y'all know it's my daily driver. I try not to drive it as much, but when I have to, I do. So that being said, you know, when you when you drive these cars and they don't just sit in the garage, nine times out of 10, you know, you're gonna break things. Things are gonna get damaged. Paint's gonna get nicked. Rock chips are and all type of stuff. So it's like, that being said, I just, I wanna get the whole front end PPF'd, to be honest. Really and truly, I really wanna get some carbon fiber fenders and then just PPF the whole front end. But you know, one step at a time, brother. One step at a time. But yeah, man, I don't know. Enough of me rambling, man. Um, y'all, give me y'all two cents in the comment section down below. Let me know what y'all think, man. Do we just get another set of ZL1 style side skirts and then re-clear these? Or try out my gloss black fade to carbon idea? Or I go with a whole new look like I did with the front splitter and just go with a whole different brand. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, man. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Just a little pull for y'all, nothing crazy. Literally nothing crazy. Probably like 45% throttle, bro. Not even 50. Just rolling into it. You know, I gotta keep you guys entertained, man. But yeah, um, I'm gonna get out real quick, give you guys a quick little walk around of the car. It is extremely dirty. I'm washing it tomorrow. It rained yesterday. So just keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? When you're getting ready to drop your comments, bro. My car is dirty. It rained yesterday. But I do wanna give you guys a quick walk around of the car with the side skirts so y'all get a better idea. And then y'all drop y'all comment, man, and let me know what y'all think I should do, what route y'all think I should go with. But that's a bet. Let me go ahead and get this thing parked up real quick. Go in there and grab me a monster. It's busy today. All right, y'all, just real quick. You know, I had to grab my monster, man. So we got the carbon splitter up front, carbon hood. Side skirts are back on. This was the little winglet I was telling y'all about, that little flare. And then we got, you know, carbon trunk in the rear with the diffuser splats about to be making some modifications to the diffuser too so stay tuned for that but when i was telling y'all the the shift from black paint to carbon i would do black paint all the way through till about like right here then fade it into carbon for the rest because these are the cracks i was telling y'all about earlier man so i don't know man y'all let me know in the comment section down below but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video I'm finna go ahead, roll that outro, get out of here. They got Beyonce over there, man. And then, like the homie said, we got Jay-Z right here. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that's going to wrap it up for today's vlog. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment in the comment section down below, man. Let me know what you guys think. What size skirt should I go with? I'm really interested to see what you guys think. So drop a comment for me, man. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace. Next time y'all see this car, it will be cleaned. I promise. <laughs>